The Duchess of Cambridge has been widely praised for her fashion choices. She often wears a mixture of high street labels as well as designer. While the royal mainly wears new clothing pieces, she will also wear many of her items again and again. Lucy Anser Addo, director of Lausha Limited, spoke with Express.co.uk in May to talk about Kate's fashion sense, describing it as being more sophisticated and regal since she became a duchess. She said, Kate beautifully rocks high end garments and high street designs from Zara, ASOS, and Gap. She always looks chic and elegant, effortlessly dresses to impress. Her overall style is regal. Ms. Ansa Addo also explained that Kate still follows some royal traditions. She added, The Duchess still respectfully follows tradition where possible with her style by wearing pearl earrings for more formal events and engagements. However, she knows how to add her own twist depending on the occasion. Adapting to the same hues, details, and silhouettes. The Duchess stuns even more when she gives gentle nods to past times when it comes to channeling Princess Diana or paying homage to her through her signature styles. Despite Kate and Diana sharing similar fashion styles, this perhaps is the most they would have in common when it comes to pleasing the firm. In the documentary, Meghan Markle, Royal Divide, Harry, Meghan and the Crown, Royal Insiders said that Kate succeeded in her position as a member of the royal family because she was an incubated princess and that Stoic royals achieve the best success. Royal commentator Anna Pasternak said, The characters that do well in the royal family are those Stoic characters who really live to serve, who put their head down. Camilla supported Charles amazingly and Kate, who is now a wonderful queen in waiting. However, Daisy Goodwin, creator of PBS Victoria, a novel of a young queen, believes that Kate is an incubated princess which in her view, may not be a good thing for the UK. Ms Goodwin said, Kate, was incubated into being a princess. Shush has learned to never say anything, always smile, always have lovely hair and you're done. Now I think, as a country, we have to really think is that what we really want from our royal women. We want them to be Stepford wives. I mean, really. Kate was deemed to be a beacon of strength when she appeared to have brought some sort of peace between Prince William and Harry following tensions that had been building among the brothers for some time. William and Harry reportedly drifted apart when the Duke of Sussex accused his brother of not doing enough to include Meghan during the royal family Christmas celebrations in 2018. Before this Harry was said to have never got over the brotherly advice William gave to him about Meghan. In the documentary, Meghan Markle, Royal Divide, Harry, Meghan, and the Crown Royal commentator Duncan Larkham explained that William encouraged Harry to slow down his whirlwind romance. Mr Larkham said, when seeing Harry and Meghan's whirlwind romance unfold, William put the brakes on, or tried to, and said to his brother, look, just take your time, don't rush into anything. Omid Scobie also believed that Harry never really got over the brotherly advice that William gave to him concerning Meghan. He added, I don't think Harry ever really got over that. Sadly over the past couple of years, William and Harry's relationship has got worse. Sometimes William misses his brother and sometimes he is the future king and, Harry's, boss. It's always hard differentiating where the line is. Kate recently shared her delight at the arrival of her niece and the Sussex's first daughter, Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor who was born on June 4. The Cambridges sent Lilibet Diana a gift which critics have suggested is an olive branch considering the two couples' strained relationship since Harry and Meghan decided to step back as senior royals in January 2020. Lilibet weighed 7 pounds 11 ounces and a spokesperson for the couple said both mother and baby are healthy and well, and settling in at home. After the announcement, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge shared a post to Instagram to congratulate Harry and Meghan. They said, we are all delighted by the happy news of the arrival of baby Lily. Congratulations to Harry, Meghan, and Archie. Buckingham Palace also released a statement that read, the Queen, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, 
and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have been informed and are delighted with the news. <laughs>